Hi guys, this is Jay from Hyperfocal Design and today I'm going to run you through a tutorial on how to use our uh, HDRI time-lapse skies. So we're going to use Blender Cycles for this and so we'll just set up Cycles Render there and make sure our device is using the GPU uh, that's available if you've got a, an NVIDIA device. I'll add a plane quickly as well so we can see the effect of the lighting. Switch to rendered mode to make sure it's working, which it is, and we just want to get rid of this lamp because we just want to look at the effect of the HDR lighting. And to set that up, we'll just go into world here, use node, leave that as background, choose the environment texture, and for this I'm just going to use the sample footage which should be available shortly. So that is being lit by the HDR, but um, you can see it's really, really grainy, and the reason for that is because important sampling is not off, is not on. The higher value you set for this, the more resolution you'll get, and you also want to come back into sampling here and make sure you've got something decent to reduce the amount of grain in the image, and you can go as high as you want for that uh, for smoother images. So that's our HDR lighting the scene and you can see we've got a full sun there. That's why we've got a nice sharp shadow. Uh, so that's the basics for HDR in Blender Cycles. And now, of course, to use this uh, time-lapse footage, I'll just move to frame number one, choose image sequence, and then I think it was 500 and something frames and then this is something that I find always happens is that I'm clicking around on the timeline down here but it just doesn't update um, generally what seems to fix that is like if I if I do a render and then come back, it just seems to refresh it. Um, so if anyone knows exactly what that is, then I'm, I'm keen to know. Uh, so yeah, down here we're at frame 77. Uh, we want to make this end on kind of, in this case, 500 or so. And then we can step through the frames on the, on the timeline. And you can see uh, we get closer and closer to sunset towards the end here. And that shadow lengthens and everything. So to actually render this, I want to come back into this panel and set our file format to be raw AVI or whatever you like really. Um, you can do image sequences or any of these other formats. Uh, change your rendering samples to kind of 50 or 100, something decent. Um, for this test, I'm just going to do 25% of full HD res. And you want to choose your output path. I'm just using my C temp drive. There's a couple other tests I've done before. Uh, just hit accept and then type in the name here. the third one I've done and then hit animation and you'll see it start just going through frames of course uh, I've forgotten to set up my camera so we'll do that very quickly hit O on your keypad see it starting here from the uh, very first frame which is, uh, is quite dark and it'll just keep going through until it's done. Uh, I'll just set this up to start at 250 and at 300 and then yeah time lapse test three will appear in there and that's as good as done. Okay, and 
and there's the finished quarter resolution result there. Um, if you left it any longer, or uh, you know, obviously you ran it, yeah, ran it longer, you'd see the the shadows change quite a bit more in length and, and direction, and the light and color change, and, and so on. But that's uh, that's pretty much all there is to it for image sequences for time lapse footage. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.